Do you know which is the most money making industry? Oh no, 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 no. We are not talking about that industry. We'll be talking about the gaming industry in this video. So gaming industry earns three times more revenue than the entertainment or music industry. So like us, 3.2 billion more people play games. But have you ever thought of making a career in gaming industry? If yes, then you are at the right track. This gaming industry is gonna go to reach 297 billion dollars industry by 2025. The video game segment will hit a sales volume of 100 billion dollars by 2024. Let's, let's keep all these numbers aside. Just think about yourself and the people around you who like playing video games, high fidelity games, or if nothing, then Ludo King. Do you know an idea that Ludo King earned $20 million in just one year? And for us, it's a free to play game. Now let's talk about gaming industry in India. So Indian government is setting up national animation, visual effects, gaming, and comic center of excellence in collaboration with IIT Bombay. Karnataka and Telangana have dedicated state-level AVGC policy. Group 3 grew exponentially in the last decade because of easy availability of computers, gaming consoles, mobile phones, etc. But during pandemic, this number rose in billions because of obviously the cheap availability of internet and people were free to play games. So nowadays, these video games create so much photorealistic effects that we simulate that reality to an extreme level. We feel like we are living that unrealistic imaginary world in which we are the protagonists. Hi friends, my name is Shivangi Tiwari. Thank you so much for liking my videos and welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel and if you like my videos, do give it a th thumbs up. And if you have visited my channel for the first time, then I create videos related to career, inspiration and lifestyle. And if that's what you're searching for, then you've landed at the right place. In today's video, we'll be talking about some really interesting questions and about how we can think of developing a career in gaming industry. Like, what career options do we have in gaming industry? Who is a gaming engineer? How to be a gaming engineer? Like, what subjects to cover? What degrees to cover? What courses to go for? In which languages these games are coded in? How to learn programming for being a gaming engineer? Top skills that are needed to be a gaming engineer? and the companies which hire these gaming engineers and their pay scale. So no one ever thought that this gaming industry will grow so rapidly at a global level and in India as well. That nostalgic era of playing games is gone now. Games all about today is gameplay, VFX, audio, action. So we get more thrilling experience than the movie while playing games or while involving in games. More than 20k plus jobs will be there for Indian gaming engineers in 2023 itself. This company named Sumo India, they've already opened 50 plus job open openings and they're hiring for their Pune and Bangalore location, the gaming engineers. So yeah, actually government is also supporting this gaming industry with their AVGC uh, task force. So they'll be kind of creating a curriculum for uh, doctoral courses, graduation, post-graduation courses. For all these courses, they'll be creating a curriculum so that this AVGC sector can get improved, can be a part of this gaming industry. So we obviously have programmers who are a crucial contributor in the gaming industry. Further in this video, we'll be discussing what languages and we should learn how to be programmer in a gaming industry or how to create games through programming. Then next up, we have artists. So obviously the people who are interested in 3D specialization, and UI designing, all of it, creating portfolio, they can be a part of it. Next up, we have graphic designers. So they, these graphic designers generally take care of different levels of games and like what elements and pop-ups we can add in the games to make it more attractive. In gaming marketing roles, you generally promote the games via different marketing strategies across channels. Or you can also choose to be a studio maker where you'll be managing the recruitment department. Next up, the quality assurance roles, where you do the testing of games while they are in development process. So in a nutshell, you can go for roles like game designer, game developer, game animator, visual engineer, audio engineer, interpreter, translator, and game prosumer. But you know what? In all these options in the gaming industry, the most paid one is of a gaming engineer. Now let's know who is a gaming engineer. Gaming engineers generally develop games and its networks and programs for others to use it. 
so these engineers programmatically create the sequence of gameplay uh, and and game as gaming engineers you take up full ownership of platform compatibility animation theme story level leaderboards of gameplay etc so there are a couple of more roles and responsibilities which has to be covered but i've mentioned few of them basically and covered them in layman's language since we are talking about the gaming industry and the most paid career in the gaming industry that is the gaming engineers you must be thinking that why am i delaying and why am i delaying this and not telling you the exact road map to be a gaming engineer ideally if you have a computer based background you can apply for multiple roles in gaming industry but yeah to summarize it and to channelize it you should have expertise in particular language which is related to game industry and whether you're a fresher or a freelancer or anything expertise in computer programming language which is used for making games is very important so if this is something which is confusing you then we should divide it into subjects you should know to be in gaming industry degrees and courses to cover so talking about the subject you have to go with computer science computer science in gaming gaming technology physics and mathematics these are the subjects which you generally have to go for to go into gaming industry then we talk about the degrees so any degree with computer based background is sufficient enough to go into computer in this gaming industry but yeah talking about the courses so i'll not be able to cover all the courses to go into multiple domains in gaming industry because then it will be a very lengthy video if you want me to create then do let me know in the comment section i'll make a video but in this video we'll be targeting about the gaming engineers only so you can go for uh, language related courses like courses through which you can understand computer computer languages which you can use for coding the games then you can go for courses which is for unreal engine one thing you can go for is animation courses then all about gaming technology these are the courses which you can cover for almost all the courses you will get material online on coursera or udemy by the way this is not a sponsored video this is my own recommendation you can go for courses online on udemy and coursera and now coming to the languages like do you know which programming languages are used in gaming there are 300 programming languages and all of them cannot be used to create games so there are some ways and features in which these languages are chosen languages are chosen on the basis of robustness its integration with different applications how well supported they are on different platforms how fast and error free they run how different features can be synced with them and then languages like c++ c# sharp javascript java html lua sql css3 and python are widely used in game development so all these languages know have their own pros and cons and on the basis of requirements the right language is decided so on the basis of how fast the language is how it works in close proximity to the hardware how it functions cross platform its features with high performance and compatibility with other games is what makes a language compatible for any game designing so actually it's a detailed topic and in one video i cannot cover all of them i can just give an intro if you need any other information feel free to comment coming to the point that how you can learn coding for game development so it's a step by step procedure where you have to first understand and know about gaming engine and then how you can do programming inside that gaming engine so coming to step 1 first of all pick up any language of your choice which you like so that and you understand the concept of the language create any simple piece of code on your own be it tiny or simple or small only and execute it and when you see the output na it's a magical feeling so after you understand the concepts from a basic language pick up a language which is used by professional now as step 2 you can go for learning a game engine which is nothing but a pre made software that helps you make any game faster like it has multiple built in functionalities so these engines are beginner friendly also but yeah used by professionals too one of the examples of very famous game engine is unity 3d now as step 3 let's go through learning six stages of game development stages like design art code audio polish market so individually you can take up courses learn and practice learn and practice and repeat once you learn the basics then sky is the limit since you are watching me so patiently from so long i want you to answer one question for me who is the gamer who's a billionaire in today's time just by playing his favorite game 
I know you know the answer or you can research and tell me. Do let me know in the comment section. So with all this discussion, we are reaching towards the end of the video with just two pointers to cover. Now we have to understand what are the skill sets needed to be a gaming engineer or to go into the gaming industry. So first of all, you should be passionate enough for playing games. So one of my friend, he very often takes days off just to play games. And you will be surprised to know that another friend, he has invested some 3 lakh rupees in getting that gaming set up. With passion, you should also be aware of the gaming trends going on. Then some classic things like your training of problem solving, knowledge of 2D and 3D animation software, familiarity with game production pipeline process and experience with gaming gives you an edge. So focus on proficiency in programming languages with a strong analytical frame of mind. That's what will make you skilled to be a part of gaming industry. Knowing all the prerequisites to go into gaming industry but don't know where to apply. Which all companies hire these gaming engineers? Or should I ask it in a different way that what are the top companies in gaming industry and how much do they pay to these gaming engineers? You will be shocked to know there are 2.81 billion gamers across the globe and the number is increasing at the rate of 5.6% per year. And this is the sole reason why most of the verified and reliable game developing companies in India or globally have enough experience and have proven work portfolio that can offer outstanding performance to the gamers and game enthusiasts. The list will give a fair idea of top 10 well-known companies in game development in 2023. So first is Google, then Apple, next comes Deloitte, Ubisoft, Tata Consultancy Services, Sony, the Pokemon Company International and PopCap Games. One very interesting, that is, yeah, <laughs> Naughty Dog. So apart from this, there are some less famous companies which hire gaming engineers like 2K, Improbable, Level X, Mountain Top, Studio, Playco, Pocket Gems, Zynga and Zoro One. If you haven't listened all the names properly, do pause my video, bring your pen and copy and note down the name of these companies. This will help you in future to apply in these companies. Too much gyan in a single video, right? I did not expect this video to go so long, but it is now. I hope you liked it and find it informative. So if you have any suggestions regarding this video or any other video, feel free to do comment in the comment section. I'll try to answer all of them. And if you like today's video, do give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends who are trying to get into gaming industry or who are passionate towards game. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified anytime I post my new videos. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for supporting me.